Okay, so you're using social media for your business, but you're managing it yourself. How do you do that? In this next conversation with Coach Lenny V, online fitness trainer and entrepreneur, we're going to dive deep into how he balances running a business and running his social medias. So if you're someone that's doing social media on your own, should you hire someone? Should you do it yourself? Or what kind of balance can you create for yourself so you can manage your business and manage your socials? Let's dive in. What tips do you have for balancing running a business and managing your social? So you mentioned that you work with your business partner, Cooper, right? Yeah. I met him here in PV. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's a Coop. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you mentioned that he does some of the work. So do you do anything like outsourcing? I guess in a way, not necessarily outsourcing, but insourcing with him. Um, scheduling, like what kind of things do you do to balance your, your running a business and managing your socials? Yeah. So we kind of have everything mapped out that on Monday it's my client work and I'm creating content and like I'm drafting content, you know, on the Mondays he'll be going through podcasts, uh, editing clips. Uh, he's basically, he's, he's always editing clips and doing the podcast. It's also editing and then creating content alongside me, like helping the, the like finalizing the drafts that I write. And we just make sure that the hooks are clean, there's no filler words, all that stuff. So we kind of, everything is mapped out in my, in my, in my, um, in my Google calendar. So I know what times I'm making content, what times I'm filming content, what times I'm editing content, what time I have my clients, my client check-ins. Everything is like scripted to the T that if I don't do that, then I'm running behind schedule and I'm chasing my back a little bit. So. Definitely having a mm -hmm. schedule. Otherwise, you just feel like you get overwhelmed with it, with things, and it just becomes too difficult. But as, yeah. as long as you have a schedule, you know you don't miss things. You, maybe you do them like slightly later, but you, you get them done. Um, same thing. What I would tell someone who's consistently missing their workouts: schedule it in your set in your in your Google Calendar. You know, schedule your content making. Schedule your gym sessions. Schedule your Whatever it is, you're, when you're going to eat, if you find it difficult to eat on time and the right, the right things, schedule what you're not doing well or what you can get better so you don't miss it, so you can perfect it. Uh, otherwise, you're just chasing your tail. That's it, man. 100%. Mm. Um, so, okay. Wow. Do you... So, Cooper does the editing. Do you both do the ideation or does do you do the ideation mainly? Good question. He's he sends me some stuff uh, on Instagram. We, like we have like a, our DMs, and he'll send me things like, uh, "Oh, good. Maybe you can comment on this. Comment on that. Here's a meme." Mm. So we we basically when we call, we've got like a list. You know, we just go through our thread, and we go, "Okay, we can use this for this, this for this." Um, so he'll help sparking some of the ideas. Um, but then I also will then just go and do my. I'll see things throughout the week that I want to comment on, or I. Um, yeah, I'm also creating those ideas as well. And then from there, I'll write them up because when you get two people trying to write a script, it just doesn't work. We tried, we tried that. Yeah. So I'll write the scripts up and then we'll clean them up together. And then, yeah, it's just me, me shooting it by myself, then, you know, getting it to a small 20 second, 30 second clip where I'm looking pretty and smiling and I don't want him, I don't trust him with that process because he'll get me looking full in faces and shit. So I, <laughs> so I, I make sure I do that bit and then, uh, yeah. and then I get him to do the, you know, the post-production, um, you know, fix up, uh, put overlays on there, sound effects, ca captions, all the rest of oh, it, subtitles, all the rest of it. So yeah, it's a shed. Doing it by yourself is definitely, would be definitely, definitely challenging. Uh, having someone, you know, like yourself, like a, a team of people, uh, or someone like Cooper, it definitely makes life a lot easier trying to do too many things. You know, you, you sometimes, you know, you take for granted you, you marketing is a full-time job, but then you've actually mm -hmm. got the job of servicing your clients as well. So trying to do everything by yourself is just a lot. So delegating where possible to people who actually are better than what you're going to do is definitely there's so much value in that for sure doing that amount of work by yourself without any support mm. you know and still being able to run a business still be able to stay on top of clients be able to service them to the best of your ability answer messages new inquiries um if you don't have a system and a workflow and that's systemized 
and scheduled, like you said, it's very, very hard to stay on top of things, right? Definitely. Do you use a, like a, a content calendar for for kind of pre-scheduling or pre-arranging your posts? Or like you said, you just kind of use Google Calendar for that? Um, so yeah, basically the way that I schedule my content, organize everything, just in Google Drive, whether it's the best way to do it or not, it works for me. Um, mm -hmm. And I basically write, okay, I've got a, okay, I've got a, an overview, an overview template, which I've got to then for each week, get two of uh, a supermarket post, three from the gym, two memes, two reactions, two podcast clips, maybe one humorous content piece and one Twitter. So it's, I've got to, I've got to then write on the following pages, write up content for all those, all those things. So then throughout the week, I'll have time, for instance, today after this, I'm going to go to the supermarket and film a bunch of content in there. Um, then tomorrow we're going to go to the gym and film a bunch of content in there, which is all scheduled. Uh, and I've got, mm. and I've edited that. I've, you know, I've written up all the draft in Google Drive um, and Google Docs, and then I'm going to go edit that in Google Docs, and then, and then make it, make it, make it to life, bring it, bring it to life, essentially. So, okay. so your your content schedule, your calendar. What what do you mean by that? Like, what do you what do you do differently there? Uh, well, we use uh, something called Airtable. It's oh, yeah. uh, I know that table. It's like a data management um, software, not necessarily software, but like a website. But it has a calendar view, and it's really easy to categorize your posts by by theme, category, topics, uh, what pl platforms are going to be going out, as well as because it's very customizable as well as putting in your, your hooks, your captions, your calls to action, the purpose of the content, maybe what, what pillar it falls under, underneath your strategy, whether it's talking, I guess in your case, like you mentioned supermarket, so maybe diet mm -hmm. and gym, probably workouts. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of organize it in that way. Yeah. And uh, you can also upload your media. So uh, if you're collaborating with another person, then they can leave comments or uh, they can make changes or upload more media. And I, I find that's what we use with our clients and with ourselves to kind of manage it all. And that keeps the quality, I would imagine, fully intact as well, similar to Dropbox. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I use Google Drive a lot too. In fact, um, sometimes I will... I, I use I have We have like a lot of Google Drive storage and we'll just put kind of the links into the... Airtable if some of our content pieces are really long, very large. Rather than uploading it there, we just have it on on uh, Google Drive. Mm -hmm. But it gives us a, the ability to collaborate with our video editors, with our social media managers, and from our standpoint as business owners to kind of have a bird's eye view of kind of everything that's going on for multiple accounts mm -hmm. uh, and our own as well. Yeah. yeah. So it's been really very beneficial to do that. And before we did that, it was kind of like a mix and match of Google documents and spreadsheets and it was just kind of all over the place. So having it all in one area that you can kind of link everything into it was like a game changer for us. Like, it, And the, another cool thing is that you have a calendar view mm. so you can see exactly like what you're posting on what day at what time. Mm. So, and it doesn't get crowded with your personal calendar on, yeah. um, on Google, so. Yeah, I found that really, really beneficial. Yeah, nice. That's a, that's the same. I would imagine the same, similar, very similar setup to what I would do, but just on a mm. Google document that I've got like a table there. And set, yeah, but then just telling me on this day, Monday mornings, I'm doing this post. Tuesday mornings, I'm doing this post. Wednesday mornings, this post. Yeah. So having that, having that schedule, like made for you, which you just don't have to guess. What What am I going to do this day? What am I going to do that day? It's just there for you. It just keeps you organized. Once you're organized, it's much harder to fail. Yeah, we um, there's a an Aussie Instagrammer, photographer, filmmaker, creator. Uh, his name is Tom Nosk, and he's in um, I think he's in Melbourne. Uh, and he well, we joined his cohort on content creation, building personal brands, and he uses Notion. He kind of introduced Notion into our world, and that's another one that's really really powerful to be able to manage basically like your entire business, including mm -hmm. calendars and content. It's been like 
It's been a huge game changer. Are are you aware of Notion? I've heard of it, but I haven't looked into it. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I think it takes there's a learning curve to be able to use it and create your own systems. Yeah. But there's also lots of um, systems that other people design that you can appropriate for for yourself. But I found that to be another really useful tool mm. for uh, ideation and tracking progress, uh, scheduling, and making sure that you're on top of all of your goals. Yeah, nice. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this conversation valuable, appreciate it if you can click the subscribe button, the like button, and that bell notification so you don't miss out on the next ones. Peace. Thank you.